Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your forbearance. Uh, and welcome to this EarthConf uh, 2015, the Cracking Earth 2015 conference. Uh, it gives me great pleasure to be able to welcome the Senior Deputy Vice-Chancellor to open our event, uh, Professor Ray Parker. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Good morning to everybody. Uh, I'm delighted to welcome you, as Tim said, to the fourth annual ISSR Sustainability Research Event, Cracking Earth 2015. Here at Plymouth University, we're proud of our work and achievements within this important area of sustainability. Our award-winning approach to sustainability, linking research, teaching and campus operations together in a single endeavour, is why we are consistently ranked as one of the greenest universities in the country and indeed the world. This year, we've secured our position as the number one higher education establishment in the People and Planet League table. This is the most comprehensive assessment of a university's sustainability credentials in the sector. So can I ask everyone to give a round of applause for everybody that's involved in that? Well done. The Institute for Sustainability Solutions Research leads our sustainability research activity, and it was launched in 2012. It captures our world-class multidisciplinary expertise in research for sustainable solutions, helping us to find solutions to many of the world's most challenging environmental, economic and social challenges. The Institute worked with partners from the beginning of any new research initiative, co-creating the process and helping generate the outputs. It brings together over 300 researchers investigating sustainability from across the disciplines and perspectives including science, business, arts, humanities and health. And in the atrium, you'll find over 20 exhibition stands featuring uh, different research specialities demonstrating the variety and mix of our expertise. And we also have a number of research posters from the ISSR Postgraduate and Early Career Researcher Network, which should also be great if you can have a look at those as well. As well as joining different disciplines within the university, the ISSR helps to connect academics with external partners. Today, we are celebrating some of our collaborative research, and I'd like to thank all the external presenters from a diverse range of expertise for travelling to be with us here at this event. So I welcome you particularly. Whether you're a member of staff, a student, a returning partner or a new visitor, I hope you have a fantastic day full of discovery, both within and outside of your own specialist areas. Today's about celebrating our current research, but equally importantly, also developing ideas and connecting for future research projects to help find solutions for the world's most pressing sustainability challenges, and also preparing us for the next REF, which I know seems a long way away. Before Tim uh, Daly introduces the aims of the day, I'd just like to thank him personally and also Kirsty, Debbie and Paul for their hard work in putting the event together today. So I now welcome Tim uh, to present for the rest of the day. Thank you and have a good time. Thank you. Well, welcome. I've got something important to say today, and that is, today is our third birthday. Yeah, no, small clap, oh, wonderful. Today's our third birthday, and at the risk of sounding, sounding like an unwanted grandparent, I look out today and I say, haven't we grown? <laughs> haven't we got, isn't, it, isn't it wonderful? Yeah, so our fourth annual event arriving now, late April 2015, and in that time since our launch in the very first event, uh, in April 2012, we've grown to now become what we're happy and confident to say is the largest annual sustainability research event in the Southwest. So give yourself a round of applause, please, ladies and gentlemen, for being part of uh, the largest event in the Southwest. It is a celebration of excellence, and it's also, as Ray said, a celebration of collaboration. So we're very keen to ensure that. We continue to work with external partners, we break down ivory towers, we work on projects that are of relevance uh, to the world and which help improve society. And that's a key part of what our institutes generally do within the university, as well as a key part of the ISSR. The university is about to announce in the very near future uh, some very exciting new ways 
in which it will be celebrating its research strengths going forward and, as Ray mentioned, through to REF 2020. So we're in a really very strong place uh, and fundamentally those principles about collaborative research and working externally with external partners that can use that research uh, is fundamentally foremost to what we're trying to do. So today is uh, a fun-fired, enjoying, uh, enjoy, joyful, excuse me, uh, an exciting day, uh, and that is captured within our structure. So we have very, very short fire, and it will be short fire. Uh, the taser has not been deployed previously, but I know Kirsty has a, a zealous wish to use it uh, on five-minute presentations, uh, much like the Petra Kucha or Ignite style. So there won't be any questions that follow particular talks. Instead, I'll be asking each presenter to come up as per their structure on the, on the, men on the menu, on the uh, uh, schedule for the day that we have. Uh, and we'll go through very quickly, and then we'll essentially use that time. If the people that you wish to connect with, uh, please use the networking time uh, that follows each session. What would success look like today? So we have a range of people here. Uh, we have a, vi a wide audience. Those that are early in their research careers, those that are uh, more established in their research careers, those who are here to see how they can influence the research process, and those who wish to use the research process to change lives. So what would success look like? Well, I think success today will be the re-establishment of existing connections, uh, the generation or the seeds of ideas for future projects, to which we would hope to bid then to European Union funding, or indeed the funding mechanism on which most of today is focused, and that is built around foundations. So recognising that perhaps if there are stages in which our projects uh, haven't quite made it yet to European Union funding, then we can empower uh, everyone here to go for perhaps some of those earlier or lower hanging fruits uh, that are perhaps represented by foundations. And we'll be welcoming shortly uh, a team from the RNI to give us a brief on exactly what opportunities are available. So success could also be enjoying a nice croissant. Or it could be uh, coming away from here, recognising that Plymouth, as Ray mentioned, is the number one institution for sustainability. Uh, and we are very, very proud of that. And we continue to try and do more uh, to maintain that position. So a curious link here. One of the things about sustainability is a recognition that we all come from the soil and we use the soil and indeed we'll be hearing later on today about uh, the importance of managing the carbon assets that we have and the soil um, from which we get our agriculture and other things. So I would encourage you ladies and gentlemen to visit uh, the Peninsular Arts Gallery which is also in this building where we are, where we are running and hosting uh, a soil culture uh, art exhibition and that's running through to the end of uh, this coming month, so to the end of May. Um, please do enjoy that as well as enjoying uh, the rest of the conference, um, but bear in mind, <coughs> don't miss out on the conference, uh, you'll be missing the best bit. If you think we've done well as well, then please feel free to sign up and answer our survey. We're always interested to know your thoughts on, on what could be done better or what we're already doing that you value. Um, and you can either do this online now, or there are iPads in uh, stands just outside in the uh, focal point or the cross point area outside. So do please uh, give us your opinion. We very much value that. So we have no scheduled fire alarms. So if you hear the customary siren, uh, I suggest you uh, wave your hands uh, and panic and run, walk out the door. No, it, we'd rather just have you walk out uh, steadily and gently and then uh, follow the signs to the nearest uh, meeting point. Um, toilets are available on uh, this floor, but if you fancy a long walk to stretch your legs, they're also available on other floors as well. Um, again, those are signposted. So we're not expecting any ridiculous interruptions other than Kirsty holding up the signs telling people to speed up or uh, get off the stage. So with that in mind then, can I welcome Susan and Paola to the stage to give us our background into working with charitable foundations. Thank you.